What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Oops, we did it again. We've allowed patriarchal society to use and abuse yet another woman right before our eyes. Brittany Jean Spears, whether you like her or not, you know who the fuck she is. She's a multi-platinum Grammy Award winning pop icon and the woman who's caused me to break the second commandment since 1999. She's my idol. But you ain't got to know anything about Britney to know something is completely fucked when people as hateful as a Christian's love are on the right side of things for once. Matthew Pizzagates wrote a letter sponsored by multiple Republican representatives like Anti-9-11 Victims Compensation Fund and, and Pro-Myanmar Coup, one Mr. Andy Biggs. Another on the list is Burgess Owens. He's a handsome black gentleman who opposed a bill in 2019 that advocated reparations for slavery. He's basically Candace Owens with a penis. And of course, Kentucky Fried Marjorie, the adulterous anti-abortionist of Milledgeville, Georgia. All of them are asking Brittany to testify before Congress about the abusive conservatorship she's been trapped in for 13 years, which gives her twisted substance abusing father who's filed for bankruptcy before. Full control of her multi-million dollar assets and all of her life decisions. Now don't get me wrong, I love the fact that Beavis and Butthead's long lost brother wants to help Brittany, but I can't figure out why. <laughs> She's well over the age of 16. It's been quite some time since she was not a girl, not yet a woman. Well, Brittany did compare her father forcing her to work even when she was sick or didn't want to to human trafficking. And if Matt Gates' Venmo history tells us anything, it's... <laughs> Matt knows more about human trafficking than pumpkin tits does about tax evasion. Since February 2008, Brittany has been confined by this conservatorship. Her father petitioned a Los Angeles court to name him and an attorney named Andrew Wallet as conservators over Britney's life and fortune. First temporarily, then permanently in October of that same year. According to court records, her father can control who's allowed to visit her, have security guards on her 24 hours a day, cancel her credit cards, access her medical records, communicate with her doctors, take control of her house, and make tour TV and recording deals. From day one, Brittany specifically said she didn't want her father to be in control of this conservatorship. You know that man who always looks like he just crawled out of a coffin? I think this conservatorship has way more to do with Jamie's greed than it does with Brittany's well-being. I really can't think of any reason why Brittany's father would force her to work against her will because it couldn't possibly have anything to do with the fact that Jamie got approved by the court to receive 1.5% of the gross revenue from her performances and merchandise related to her residency in Las Vegas. The residency that made almost $140 million. Can't imagine why he wouldn't want her getting pregnant either. <laughs> oh yeah, she's being forced to keep an IUD inside of her as well. Fun times. Conservatorships are usually reserved for people who have severe mental disabilities or elderly people who suffer from dementia and cannot make sound decisions for themselves. Oop. <laughs> but Britney Spears has released four different albums, been a judge on The X Factor, guest starred on network television, gone on three world tours, and again, that residency in Vegas that was paying old Jamie's bills. Do as I say or I'll take your kids away. In 2018, the co-conservator Andrew Wallet petitioned for a raise, a raise. Court documents show he said Britney's business activities have greatly accelerated due to her increased well-being and her capacity to be more engaged in further activities and the conservatorship should be viewed as a hybrid business model. Proof this conservatorship is for profit. Britney is paying for her lawyer, her conservator's lawyers, and for her conservators. Is this for her best interest or their pockets? Sam Ingram, Britney's court-appointed lawyer, referred to her as a high-functioning conservative. That's not a thing, boo. Men seem to always thrive on society's responses to women in distress, and I think that's exactly what's happening to Britney Spears. She showed signs of distress. Conservatorship! Amanda Bynes showed signs of distress. Conservatorship! Kanye West, a man, shows signs of distress. Mm, let him run for president. Women are inclined to being called hormonal or hysterical because of their reproductive organs. Throughout history, hysteria has been viewed as a sex-selective disorder affecting only women. Hysteria was basically the medical explanation for everything that men found unmanageable in women, a conclusion only supported by men's dominance over medicine and hysteria's continued interchangeable use for emotional. Brittany says she is traumatized from what she's been through in this conservatorship. Unfortunately, modern day America still too often pathologizes trauma and deprives trauma survivors of their bodily autonomy and basic human rights. I don't know anything about Brittany's mental health 
or if the conservatorship was ever necessary because her medical records are sealed. But I do know a young girl was catapulted into fame, chewed up and spit back out by a bloodthirsty misogynistic society for our entertainment. In the midst of her becoming a mother, going through a divorce, a custody battle, and while suffering postpartum depression, according to her mother. Right before Britney was thrown into this conservatorship, a photograph of her could sell for up to $1 million. So imagine how many paparazzi intrusively swarmed her life at every waking moment, harassing and taunting her for that money shot. I know I'd do a lot more than shave my head and hit a car with an umbrella. A photo of Princess Diana sold for $6 million one month after she lost her life in a car accident involving paparazzi. Guess that explains why the Princess of Pop and the Princess of Wales are two of the most photographed women in the world. The world owes Britney an apology, and she deserves her basic human rights and her life back. And keep in mind, if this can happen to someone like Britney Spears, think of how many people have or still are suffering conservatorship abuse that we'll never hear about. I want everybody to have a great fucking day, unless you don't want to free Britney, bitch. <laughs>